Welcome, Snack Tackers! My name is Jason, and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first, I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. Now let's get to talking about this product. Well, this is something that we don't actually get to see as much anymore. Now, back in ye olden days, or just the, t the time of my youth, I used to be able to find candy stores, and in those candy stores were weird and interesting candies from brands that you wouldn't often see. Now, it's kind of been a trend that I've noticed lately that the sort of mom and pop style candy stores are kind of gone. There are a few candy stores that have continued, but a lot of those are tied to megastars, Sugar Factory, Dylan's Candy Bar, Sugar so, the Sweet Shop or something? And those are tied to various celebrities. Dylan's Candy Bar is Dylan Loren, who is the daughter of Ralph Loren. Sugar Factory and Sweet Factory, I think. Sugar and Sweet Factory? One of them's owned by the Kardashians, and one of them's owned by, like, some other big, probably venture capitalist, like... There aren't a lot of these smaller locations, and they don't carry a lot of the lesser-known products, which is where I would have found a product like this. Unfortunately, that not being the case anymore, now the place where you tend to find these kind of weird, more off-the-beaten-path candies, as such as we're reviewing today, is Five Below, which is where this came from. This is a Magic Potion Mystery Flavor. That's right, this is a liquid candy, probably sour, that uh, is a mystery flavor and has a gimmick. The gimmick is thusly. You take a tablet from here, from this little package, you drop it in this water, or this liquid, whatever this is, you wait five minutes, it changes colors, and it changes flavor. Uh, the candy over here, the tablet, says it is a red fizz candy, and this in here is sour water. Yeah, so we've got sour water and red fizz candy. The way we're going to do this is pretty simple. We are first going to try the sour water on its own. Um, then we're going to put a tablet in, and I'm going to pause the video, and we're going to wait five minutes. Where was this purchase purchased? As I said, it was purchased from a five below for $1.65. The reason I told that whole story of how I used to see these small, weird, interesting candies is I've always been a candy store connoisseur in a way, going to all kinds of candy stores, and this is where you would normally see things like this off the beaten path. I'm talking about products I don't see anymore, like, there used to be, this was actually available at a Meyer, um, but it was edible rice paper and an edible... Um, a, a marker, the marker was not edible, it had edible ink, and you could write a note and then eat it. Another one, this came from a Cracker Barrel, was a gum candy with a mini typewriter thing, and you could type out messages, tear it off. A lot of these had to do with writing. That was Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel still does have um, many candies off the beaten path, but there is not a very near Cracker Barrel to me. Uh, let's get this open. Sealed fall protection. Whoa, the seal went the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sticky. Oh, it's sticky, sticky. Well, uh, bottoms up. Three, two, one. Snack attack. Sour. Not much of a flavor. It might actually be water. It might just be water and, like, citric acid. There's truly, like, nothing there. Water, citric acid, malic acid! Ha <laughs> ha! I've gotten so good at this job! It's literally just water, citric acid, and malic acid. Ha ha ha! some... Some other stuff like aspartame, potassium, potassium sorbet, and something for the color. I've gotten so good at this job, it's crazy. Oh my god, I've been doing this for so long. 
So there are a couple of tablets in here. There are three. It does not tell me how many I should drop in. Introduce the tablet. Wait five minutes. Would you dare to taste it? Yes. I'm gonna drop one in and see what happens. Oh, it begins fizzing immediately. Oh, you can't see. Because there's all these labels. I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera. There, you can kinda see that. Now, it says to wait five minutes. Um... I kind of thought it was going to change colors, because it shows a red picture here. Red, introduce tablet, it turns purple. It doesn't appear to be changing colors. So, we'll be back in five minutes to give this weird thing a try. Okay, five minutes later and I appear to have eaten my words, for that is a very different color. It's blue, or green. In person... It looks a little green. It smells still like kind of weird sour diet water. I don't think you're supposed to try the tablets on their own, so I won't. I'm sorry. Like, I just don't think it's... All that fizzing, I don't want that being done in my stomach or my mouth. But let's give this a try. Three, two, one. Snack tack. didn't really change the flavor. It's pretty bland. It's a little sour and it's mostly just water. It tastes a lot like zero sugar, zero calorie, sour, like lime water, I guess, lemon water, but not like you've added lemon to water, but specifically those weird kind of diety, energy drinky things. Um, Considering I don't have a use for the rest of these, I'm going to put them in, and we're scientists now, you and me, we're scientists now. Producer, we're scientists now. Okay, it's just a warning. What we're going to do is we're going to wait another five minutes for the uh, next two tablets that I dropped in. See if it actually changes the flavor in any noticeable manner, because one didn't do it. I'm also, no, if I cap it, it might explode, because there appears to be a release of carbon dioxide. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not going to cap it. I'm just going to wait another five minutes and give it another try. I know that this is a lot of a waiting game of a video, but this is a waiting game of a product. I'll catch you in another five minutes. Adventurer's Log, Day 3. I've waited another five minutes. The liquid is bluer than ever. The tablets appear to turn the liquid blue. Scientists don't know why. <laughs> I don't, um, I don't think this changed the flavor much. It definitely did change the color, though. But let's find out, you know? I'm not counting down. Oh, okay, I'll count down. Three, two, one. Snake tag. It has changed the flavor. Much worse. Oh. There is some kind of soapy flavor now. Um, or floral? Ugh. It's, it's way worse. I guess that kind of like weird dentisty floral soapy energy flavor was coming from the tablets, not from the water liquid, which makes sense because the water was just sour water. The tablets... Sorbitol, sodium bicarbonate, uh, sodium bicarbonate and aspartame. It does taste like sodium bicarbonate. Not very good. Very weird. Fun little thing. Probably would entertain the kitties for a bit. Um, super high calorie in the bag, but not in the bottle. The bottle only had 10 calories, but the bag has 330, 70 cal three, thir 
370 calories. So I'm not eating or drinking the rest of this. But it was a fun little time. It was a fun little experiment. It is a snack tack pass. Uh, it's not very tasty. It's not all that fun. Yeah, it's fun to pretend to be a scientist for a little bit. But then, just like you did in elementary school where you were a scientist and combined all the leftovers into one thing. You didn't eat that thing. You know? You just did it. And then you moved on with your life. Out of 10, it's not very good. It's a 3 out of 10. But the question we ask around here is not, where do you now find the new and interesting weird little candies? Is it just five belows and things like that? Goodbye, mom and pop shops. No, it's would you buy it again? And absolutely not. Not only does it not taste very good, it's a weird little thing and super high in calories in these little tablets. So no. But remember to check Instagram, TikTok, all the fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.